Hey, welcome RVers to Richard's Motor Sales RV Centers. I'm Steve and we have a KZRV Connect 312 RKK floor plan model that we'd like to show you some features and highlights on. For starters, exterior wise, it has what's called the Platinum Package and that includes, most importantly, the fiberglass front cap. So it has a purpose-built cap uh, much better finish looking than a bent piece of fiberglass. It certainly has aerodynamic benefit and they can integrate lights like these are little campground lights. Uh, the blue LEDs that show up at night as accents. Power front tongue jack makes setting up our hitch or on and off the tray, the truck or tow vehicle much easier. It also has an integrated LED light to light the front of our campsite. Um, Lipper Components Toy Lock System has 15 feet of cable and a padlock and two keys and we can secure valuables or bicycles or a scooter with this and um, at the campsite if we go off during the day on a, a day trip somewhere we can feel safe about our heavier exterior goods being secured. Also we have a battery rack for dual batteries with a battery disconnect switch. The disconnect allows you, for those that maybe aren't familiar, allows you to, um, during camping months, in the summer for instance, you can turn the disconnect on when we're not camping and it'll discontinue any 12 volt drain that would eventually drain the batteries, such as the LP gas leak detector. That'll drain the batteries eventually in a week or 10 days. So when we come back to the, the coach, it's, uh, the batteries haven't been affected by it sitting for a couple weeks. Furion solar panel charge. We are solar panel ready, pre-wired, and they've simply run the charge lines to the battery area. So if we get a portable solar panel and set it outside, we can uh, trickle charge our battery system from that as well. Big pass-through basement in this rear kitchen model. It's a front bedroom. It's a two-slide travel trailer. It weighs 7180 and it's 35 feet 5 inches long. Uh, the Connect series has two uh, welcome home or motion sensor lights and this um, one in the in the basement, the pass-through basement comes on whenever you open uh, the luggage door here, which is uh, which is the new style uh, magnetic catches. Whenever you open that, this basement light comes on, which is really smart, very nice. Um, the new Solera Smart Arm Awning, you'll see more of these if you haven't seen them already. You can extend and retract the awning from outside, really at shoulder height level. Um, and it has a locking system. It also has two really interesting add-ons that we, the dealer, can add on easily. One is a 15 mile an hour motion sensor wind detector. It'll retra auto retract the awning in higher winds. And the other is it'll, it has a motion detector in which the um, exterior lights would come on. This has a full length LED light strip under the awning that lights the campsite. If you've not seen the new aluminum steps, these are absolutely much more forgiving on your hands and fingers. Uh, they're lighter, they're sturdier, they have rain tread, and just a really smart idea. We also have thought of um, the ride, and we often don't talk about how to improve the ride other than a weight distributing hitch with sway control. And in this case, KZ has added a really nice part it's a, a trail air Equiflex system that um, is a knuckle of sorts and it really just is anti-road chucking. It uh, does more than shock absorbers would do on a travel trailer like this. And it's in the 50% range better ride than if we had shocks on the trailer. So you don't really see it unless you get down and look at it. It's a very nice $200 range part that... Um, Something that we don't really see that Connect has taken the attention or detail to put on KZ has that affects the ride in the driver and passenger seat in a good way. 
aluminum wheels, of course. Our internal television, we've ordered this with some nice upgrades inside. And one of them is 24-inch bedroom TV. The bedroom TV has a matching mated uh, bracket, and it'll come off the, the bedroom's um, bracket and come outside and snap onto this one. And we have power and a cable inlet as well, which is nice. So we can have, underneath our awning, a um, an exterior television that because the main living room TV is 39 inches and is fairly hefty it makes sense you can bring the little one out a couple things on the rear exterior of the trailer it does come with a tire cover don't worry and that's a fold down travel rack um, for a generator or totes with firewood in them or certainly bicycles and it's really handy of course it folds up um, when not in use we also ordered this unit with a very nice uh, porcelain coated barbecue gas grill on a bracket, bumper mounted bracket. This swings around and joins our outside kitchen in a lot of ways. So um, we are on the camping side of our trailer with the grill and it adds to the fact that we have, that we have an exterior uh, secondary small refrigerator. We have a sink. It's really a two-stage sink. They provide a uh, faucet that snaps on, and they also provide a 15-foot coiled blue hose that has a, a sprayer nozzle attachment on it, so you, it can double as our outside shower for odd jobs and cleanup of pots and pans and such. Um, but this sink, to be clear, is plumbed in to our gray water tank. So we don't just dump this sink very nice. Two burner range as well and a storage shelf above. So remember when we have a mid-size outside kitchen like this, it eats up less inside for the cavity that has to be allowed on the inside of the trailer. Our big outside kitchen is very impressive outside, but it definitely does a little bit of damage to the inside uh, square footage very very delicate yeah how you make these things work really the design people so we'll go ahead and show you some things i have a battery hooked up so we have power here is the rear kitchen floor plan kz connect 312 rkk um it's in some ways a couple's coach but it will accommodate uh five and a half or six adults for sleeping Certainly six if two are grandchildren size. For starters, we have an oversized U-shaped dinette um, with nice panoramic picture windows as well. Under both, under both dinette benches, we have pull-out storage tubs for organizing, and we don't have to reach back in. A really clever, clever feature and take notice of the size and girth of this piece of furniture this unit is ordered with an upgraded height of bed sofa and know that a height of bed sofa because it is a heavier more substantial piece of furniture sits better than our less expensive jackknife futon style couch so this is a hefty and anytime we have fixed arm rests and a oversized pillow back usually visually you can tell it's a height of bed if you ever wondered so very nice upgraded piece of furniture um, caters well to the interior this by the way is called seal decor seal decor and it's a dark uh, brown it's not really charcoal it does have some brown in it so our l-shaped rear kitchen remember that we have an outside kitchen in this back corner down below countertop height and that's why this fits so well a mid-size outside kitchen is below countertop height so you really can't tell from the inside that it's there um, we have a 10 cubic foot 12 volt or electric refrigerator and Casey's done a great job with this it's uh, does not have to have a uh, inverter assigned to it like some of our electric refrigerators and it actually gets colder on 12 volt faster than it will on electric so it's going down the road it's very efficient unlike the old days used to be with 12 volt 
stainless steel appliance package very nice full extension ball bearing drawer guides an abundant amount of counter space and this um, sink lid of course doubles as counter space but we have a very nice split um, composite sink and this is a, um, a stainless steel pull out faucet it's not a, a plastic so very nice it's not as apt to break a really nice quality piece we do have purpose-built wastebasket storage for those of us that camp or have camped if we don't have a spot for the wastebasket we oftentimes tie the a bag to the range oven handle so it's a little awkward so on our door side awning side camping side we have a big picture window with one half of this is a slider for screen natural airflow and we have two real comfortable reclining chairs so across from our height of bed two reclining chairs a really cool nighttime LED blue light feature over the slide out room very nice it can be used as an accent if we don't want to have these bright LEDs on at night and uh, we're watching television or whatever we can have that on and still navigate through the trailer without tripping so our entertainment center package is a 39 inch matching Furion LED TV very nice this is on a swing arm and it has a uh, mated Furion AM FM Bluetooth CD DVD player and they've gotten smaller I know it's hard to see but the old stereo was a big box in these and they've gotten smarter and smaller and better we also have a 26 inch um, electric fireplace with 5200 BTUs of electric heat so we don't use our LP gas and that kind of finishes other than storage beside and above that finishes our entertainment center very comfortable great room consisting of a rear kitchen and a mid living room with an oversized 10 cubic foot fridge I'll show you down the hallway we have a dual entry side aisle bathroom some of our controls are lighted so we can find the interior lights at night easier slide outs remember this is a two slide unit it says an oversized 15,000 BTU central air conditioning unit with inline ceiling ducting there's less zigzagging in this so therefore less um, loss of AC power thrust and air and uh, another small but smart thing they've done uh, a window in the hallway you'll see this now and then you'll definitely hear me talk about it but if we have a hallway with a window it's a marked difference from no natural light in the hallway especially if we uh, don't have the lights on or it's during the day it feels less closed in our interior welcome home light this is the motion detector when we open the door this light comes on we can see things uh, amazing how smart some of that five and ten dollar stuff can make camping life easier dual entry bathroom I have the bedroom side of this bathroom closed so we have a slider pocket door on one side I did open the linen closet there's a drawer below and an oversized three shelf linen closet that's really the bonus in this we have a very nice um, vanity sink and we of course have a medicine cabinet with a shelf and then an oversized radius glass shower enclosure very nice we have a power fan we do have um, AC and this is probably something to look for and heat in the bathroom so equal climate control if we keep these doors shut we can expect to have fairly consistent temperature throughout the coach based on having outlets in rooms that close we have an upgraded porcelain china foot pedal flush toilet very nice more residential uh, less bacteria from no scratching like our plastic ones feels just feels more like home as well I'll show you the bedroom lastly this is and connect uses this across their the board in their standard series connect travel trailers this is a um, 
60 by 80 residential queen bed, home size sheets, regular. We have a very nice um, designer headboard at the end. We're not really used to seeing those. Our mandated escape window on the door side is venting, so it, it opens nine inches. And I, it's hot inside the trailer. We had the door shut, so I opened a couple windows, and it's working very well. Vented escape window. Uh, we have outlets on both sides. And uh, here's a oversized shirt closet wardrobe on one side. And then the slide out, in this case, that's attached to the linen closet in the bathroom is this bedroom slide with um, two lower drawers and a wardrobe on the left with a clothes hanging bar and a three shelf unit on the right. So we can spend extended stay in this based on it having more than one small shirt closet or whatever comes in a normal size vacationing class weekender size so we have more storage certainly the other thing i'm going to try to show you is something connect does that you wouldn't see unless the sales associate was uh, remembered that they use them this year i suppose and underneath the uh, pedestal of the bed there are two shelves and they have storage totes on both sides i know difficult to see i apologize both sides of the bed his and hers have um, organizers underneath that makes good use of the pedestal i don't know if you put slippers there but certainly you can think of things to use it for hey that's a look at our new connect by kzrv 312 rkk we're proud of our association with uh, the kz company uh, family of rvs as well as the fact that they've won the distinguished um, DSI award internally in the RV industry uh, for the last 18 years. Very coveted award. It's based on dealer relations, fit and finish, how parts are obtained, and their relationship with, with the dealer and customer base. So it's something that we look very, um, take very seriously, and they do too. Thanks again, Steve from Richards Motor Sales RV Centers with locations in Reading and Quincy, Michigan. Remember what's important? Go out and see this great country of ours. Spend time with your family and friends and uh, go RVing. God bless.